Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. Thank you all for joining me. So former President Bill Clinton, during a rally for Kamala Harris in Michigan, I believe, stated in his speech that even though the economy was better under Donald Trump, that the people there should still vote for Kamala Harris. Let's get right into this article. I mean, that sounds like really, I mean, really, but I think I know the reason is for that. And I'm going to get my opinion on that in a minute here. But his former president, Bill Clinton, said the economy was better under former President Donald Trump during a rally for Vice President Kamala Harris in Michigan, adding that people should still vote for Harris. I don't think it's right to say that people have to vote for Donald Trump because the economy was better than Clinton said in what rally goers seemingly perceived as a pro-Trump slip. As the 42nd president's remark elicited groans from the audience. I'm pretty sure it would. Uh, but Clinton stressed that people should still vote for Harris, even though the economy was better under Trump. Clinton also said, quote, I think I'm entitled to my opinion in years about what about who would be better because he used to be president and he thinks, quote, he did pretty well. OK, you could argue that, sir. But would Kamala Harris be better, even though you said that the economy was better under Trump? We'll get into that. <laughs> Notably, Clinton made similar apparent anti-Harris slips, apparent, apparently made an anti-Harris slip a few weeks ago when he said that Lake and Riley's death, quote, probably wouldn't have happened if the Biden-Harris administration had, quote, properly vetted her accused illegal migrant murderer. Mm -hmm, probably true. <laughs> The former president's comments further ties Harris to the administration's border policies. Since 2021, the Biden-Harris administration reversed or undid many of the Trump-era border policies. In one example, and we can't, how can you deny it? It's, it? It happened, okay? It happened. It is what it is. Those are facts. In one example, the Biden-Harris administration suspended the remain in Mexico policy on their first day in office. Roddy was, 22 year, was a 22-year-old Augusta University nursing student who was allegedly killed this year by an illegal migrant who was released into the United States. End of article. Yeah, you know, right there. Okay, so here's my opinion on this whole idea of former President Bill Clinton saying that even though, uh, admitting basically that even though the economy was better under Trump, that you should still vote. For Kamala Harris. Now, the question inevitably is, why would you why would he suggest that the people that he's talking to in his rally should still vote for Kamala Harris, even though the economy was better under Trump? Now, here is an insider, if you will, a professional politician agreeing that the, the economy was better under Trump, but yet you still should vote for someone like Kamala Harris. Why do you think he was doing that? Or why do I think he suggests that? Because, as I said, he's an insider. It's not difficult to me. It's not difficult in my opinion. Why would he, as a Democrat, suggest an insider Democrat? I'm not talking about one of these Democrats that don't know they're Democrat. Okay? I'm talking about he's an insider Democrat. He's a part of the elite. Why would any member of the elite even remotely suggest that the people should vote for someone who's not a part of the elite. And I'm talking about elite, the elite, people who are parts of these. I'm not going to get into it here on this video, but I'm pretty sure they are. They're, they're the elite of the elite. Trump may have a lot of money, but he's only elite in the sense that he has a lot of money. That's it. He has a lot of money. And we don't have a lot of money. So that makes him the elite. But he's not a part of the elite of the elite, if you know what I mean. He's not a part of the insider. He's not a part of the piece, not paid and brought or brought and paid. Have a way where you want to rephrase that. So it would make sense to me that someone like, uh, 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 if I say Biden, Bill Clinton, even though he confessed to the reality that the economy was better under Trump, that the people should still vote for Kamala Harris, because why should he go outside the script that was made for him and tell the people to do outside that script. He's not going to do that. And in a sense, this is, this is a subtle form of mind control. 
because I'm pretty sure, as the article says here, uh, his, his statement was meant by some groans and moans because people were like, wait a minute, man, that don't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Why would they, why would they, think about it. Why were they moaning and groaning? Was these Trump supporters inside the uh, Kamala Harris rally? Because this is a Kamala Harris rally. Why were they groaning and, 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 and like, when he said, well, you know what, the economy was better under Trump, but we should still vote for Kamala Harris. Why would they, who was in the audience moaning and groaning to him making that statement? Was these uh, uh, Trump supporters infiltrating the uh, Kamala Harris uh, uh, rally? Or were these people inside the Kamala Harris rally that said, you know what, you got a valid point there, man. I'm just here because my, my mother, my father, and all my friends don't want me to vote for Trump. And I'm scared to go conservative, so I'm just going to be here because of pressure. But now that Clinton has said these kind of things, it's going against what I really feel in my heart. That is true, and I really want to vote for Trump, and I really want to support his policies because I think they're the better policies. But uh, so it's going against what's going on in their head. Could that be a possibility? I don't know. But it's pretty simplistic to me. He's, of course, Bill Clinton is going to say vote for Kamala Harris. Of course, he's going to say that. As a Demo as a fellow Democrat who's on the inside as well, and Kamala Harris who's also on the inside. The, Okay, I'm not going to go into the details about how she got on the inside because you already know how she got on the inside. She wasn't voted in, but anyway, yeah, she slept herself way in. And I said it, it slipped. Yeah, that's how she got in. It is what it is. She's that, all that. Okay, but why would an insider destroy another insider? Now, somebody might argue, well, uh, 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 Biden is is basically trying to undermine Kamala Harris's campaign by saying things that can contradict or conflict with what she's trying to do. A lot of people are suspecting that Biden is doing this. I, look, I don't even know, and I reach, I, I really don't even care about that too much. You know, is neither that's neither here or there. He's not. They don't care about anything you do anyway. Do, it do. the way she got in office anyway. The way, she, or rather, the way that she was pushed to be the next candidate for the president was not the voice of the people. She was not voted in. Biden was pushed out of the way by the Democratic Party and Kamala Harris was placed in front of him by the Democratic Party. That's pretty straight. That's not, that's, that's not mind control. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's exactly what happened. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. But with her being, in, but at, even at that, she's still an insider. Why would another insider t go against what he's told to say? He's not going to do it. And we don't want to get into all of the, the, the sexual escapades Billy Boy has been involved in. We don't even, we, okay, which is crazy, right? It's really crazy to me because when, when uh, Bill Clinton did what he did when he was in office, when he got... Lord have mercy. I'm just going to be nice about this. When he, when he did the nasty things he did in office and then he got up there and lied and said, I'm going to say this right around. I'm paraphrasing most of what he said because I remember it. I did not have sex, sex you know, X, S E X U A L relations with this woman. And it was found out that he did. People still embraced him. In fact, the crazy thing about this. Many in the black community, yes, I'm getting on the black folks, I'm getting on us. Men in the black community loved him for it. They embraced him because I guess that's the cool thing right there. You know, you're a player, bro. You're a player. We love you. It aggravates me and hurts me to my heart that we as black people celebrate debauchery. It, and I don't, and, and I say this, I'm not saying this to put us down. I'm saying this because this is how we have been conditioned to believe. Before the 1960s, we didn't, we didn't embrace this kind of stuff. But that's another story, and I digress. But blacks, we embraced him. We thought it was cool. He was all on the talk show, late talk shows, playing uh, uh, saxophone. Because he was cool. He was one with the people, which was cool. I get it. You know, you're showing that you you just like everybody else. That's how you're supposed to do. You know, if you want to get, he was a master manipulator. He was good at getting, he was good at, uh, meeting the people where they were, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do that. Okay. 
And he did it well. Bill Clinton did it well. He did it well. Not putting that, I'm not putting that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting him down for that. But what he did was was purely unethical and wrong while he was in office. But people just overlooked it. Why did they overlook it? Because the mainstream media made them overlook it. The insiders painted him as a man, you know, he's flawed, he has issues in his life. People just overlooked it and it was gone. But Trump, stuff he supposedly did outside of being the president of the United States, from what I understand, the man wasn't even president. He supposedly has XUSEX with some uh, porn star that nobody heard of, right? The man is the worst person that ever lived. And supposedly gave her hush, hush, you know, money to hush her up. He's the worst, most immoral person that ever lived. And this porn star becomes a superstar overnight. The media praises her. She's the greatest person since sliced bread. Think about that for a moment. The mainstream media man manipulates people's minds like it ain't it, it like it's nothing. But with Bill Clinton, he's an insider. He's a part of the club. Give him a slap on the wrist. You can't get rid of him. So for someone like Bill Clinton to say, hey, the economy was better under Trump, but y'all better st y'all still should vote for Kamala Harris on a logical level makes absolutely no sense at all all whatsoever on a purely logical level but on an insider level it makes perfectly good sense in my opinion because of course he's not going to go against uh, uh kamala harris she's she's like him she's part of the club and when you're part of the club you protect it okay so that's what i had to say about that yeah oh what do you guys think about what clinton what bill clinton said here in this rally do you agree with him me, personally, I don't agree with him, but then I know why he said it. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.